Hey, my name is Val Honorable. I am the PE teacher at Borman K-8. When I first got here, I wanted to really implement student-led instruction. And how I achieved that is just very being routine-oriented and structured-oriented. The importance of student-led instruction is for me, personally, not to get burnt out. It allows the students to feel a sense of belonging, a sense of leadership. It gives the students an excitement about being at school because they know it's not just me teaching, it's not just me screaming at them. They actually get to lead and be able to teach the other students. Mikey, we checking people out? Make sure we're all good? Elbows 90? My model is physical education, but this is a model you can definitely take in any aspects of teaching. As long as you have great structure, the kids will follow. Every day in the life of a student is different. You can have a game plan, you can have a structure of what you think is going to go down, and that day it can switch on you. So flexibility is super key. You are in control and they'll follow if you lead well. So that's where my high expectations come in, that's where my trust in the students comes in, and that's also where the student self-led comes in. So the very first week of the foundation, very routine oriented, so we take roll call, Right, that we do that every day, beginning of class, so they know. Roll call, we go outside and get in our stretch lines. And in our stretch lines, we have five line leaders, five lines. The first week, I tell them, this is the stretches we do, and this is how we do it. I lead all of those stretches, and I'm like, this next week, you guys will be leading the stretches. So I take them through the stretch, I take them through a workout. Every day we do a stretch, and then we do a workout, quick, brief workout right after. And that first week and a half week, I'm teaching them all proper form, what I look for in a squat, what I look for in a push-up. So that whole week or week and a half, I was just me training, me implemented, routine, routine, routine. MJ, what, what'd you do wrong, buddy? Thank you. Go with this group. Mm -hmm. Go with this one. A month and a half in, only certain kids want to lead. Right? Not everyone's excited to lead because that's a lot of pressure on them. So the student-led aspect, the leaders come about, and those who don't really feel comfortable with it right now, they just go ahead and fall, fall back. I do have workout police. I give specific students the opportunity to be looking for the things I look for. So elbows getting to 90 degrees, legs getting to 90 degrees in their squat, making sure everyone's doing what they need to do. And that in turn, like I said, gets the kids excited to, again, lead the class. You know, without me having to look at 28 kids, I can have three workout police and me. Right, it makes it much easier for me. Okay, Jamie. You got it? Yeah. Good? Okay. Jamie. In the first month, there is pushback because it's like they're still making connections, they're still making relationships with each other. But now there is no pushback. They know the, that's the workout's police job, and they know that they don't really take it as they're picking on me. They take it as he's making me better, he's keeping me honest. Are you good now, Phil? So after the week, week and a half, I let the students know that now you will guys will be on your own for the stretchers. I'm still here to watch and still here to guide, but it's on my leaders, it's on you guys to work together and figure this out. So if I do have a student who needs more of a one-on-one, -on -one, I go ahead and go directly to that student. I correct the issue right then and there. I'm gonna go step behind, you're gonna step out with me. Step with this one, step behind, step in front. Step behind, step in front. Step behind, step in front. Step, good job, buddy. Good job, beautiful, Grant. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Good job, buddy. With me giving the routine, I'm also letting them know the consequence at hand. It's a cause and effect type of uh, approach that I take. If you do this, then this happens. I use that because I feel, to me, that's life. And anything you do in life, it's a cause and effect. Mikey, should you be doing that, sir? Get back over here. Here we go. So before we get started, we're gonna go over a quick, brief introduction of our positions. Oh, I already All right? that position. We know you do, bub. You're a soccer player, but not everybody does. Positivity is huge in life, in any aspect, in work, in school, in working out. I think positivity is something that is, uh, what we can call it, contagious. So if I'm positive, even when students mess up, they're gonna be positive when they mess up. My job is for them to find a little bit of love for PE. I wanna make PE a fun thing for students. Right? Even that student who doesn't like to work out, he can be like, PE isn't bad. I still can have a good time, I still can hang out with my friends. And the PE teacher is a positive guy, so in turn, everyone's happy. Good strike, good job, Nate. Nice and slow, Nate, nice and slow, bud. Good job, Skyler, good job, good job. Inside of that foot, beautiful, baby. 
Oh, beautiful. The results I've been seeing are awesome. The kids are happy. They're actually learning about a sport. I get so many questions like, what is this sport about? Or why am I doing this? And as a PE teacher, that's, that's what I, I love hearing. So now like, oh, you're asking about the sport? They actually want to know why he's making me stand in this spot or why does this shot worth two or why is this shot worth three? That kind of shows that I'm doing my job the, the correct way. What is the person who stands in that box Goalie. called? Goalie. Goalie. All right, what is it? That's Grant. That's Grant. <laughs> How many people are in front of him? Four. How many people are in front of him? Four. How many people are in front of him? Two. Beautiful. So when I say get in your positions, you guys are going to show me a 442, correct? Yes, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. That didn't sound confident. Are we yes, sure? Sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful. As a new teacher, there's going to be multiple challenges that you come across. But with you trusting your students, having high expectations, and being flexible, it gives your students a chance in your classroom a great balance and it allows them an opportunity to achieve success. As long as you trust your process, believe in your students, hold high expectations, positive outlook, and a great positive learning environment, the students will thrive. Thank you so much for having me. Welcome to TUSD. Yay.